Why is everything so darn expensive these days? The simple answer is government overspending. But how does that work? We'll explain. The government, like any organization, has a budget. Money comes in, money goes out. Normally, you want to keep your budget balanced, not spending more than you bring in. It's the eternal golden rule of budgets. You can't, or at least you shouldn't, spend what you don't have. But for many years now, the government has been overspending, leading to a deficit in our budget. But the money they're throwing around still needs to come from somewhere, and that ends up forcing us, the taxpayers, to borrow from lenders or from the Bank of Canada. And so the Bank of Canada has had to increase the money supply to pay for this new spending. And this increase in the money supply, without allowing the economy to keep up by producing more goods, means that your dollar now has to compete with other brand new dollars being printed by the bank, fighting over fewer goods being produced thanks to other government red tape. And that's what ends up causing inflation. So the more the government spends beyond its means, the more the bank increases the money supply, the lower your dollar value gets. And the government pledging to fight inflation by printing more money actually just makes the problem worse and continues the cycle. And that's why your weekly grocery bill, along with all your other bills, are completely out of control. It's time to call on the government to smarten up and to spend wisely for Canada's sake.